Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Kim and I'm glad that you came to spend some time with me on today and I hope that you guys can see everything. I am going to uh, finish decorating this box here and it contains uh, gifts for someone but I wanted to decorate this box. I've already started it. Did the sky portion. This is the grass. Don't know which way. I'm doing a different angle so I have no clue how this uh, is going to turn out. Hopefully it'll turn out okay. This is the sky portion. This is the grass. Um, and I've done the edges and that part and the bottom. But we need to do the back part. Okay. So um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to decorate this with. So I had come up with 50 million different ideals and I had started working. Um, those of you who have looked at some of my other videos know that I like to get different types of coloring books. and I color, um, mostly I, I like children's coloring books. I'm not too much into adult coloring books, but anyway, I'll paint or use, um, I'll use acrylic paints, watercolor, or markers, or sometimes color pencils, and I'll color the different pieces, trim them out, and then I'll create a scene. Um, so I do it on um, envelopes and different things. But this time, I'm going to do a box sort. At first, I was going to use this little guy, and I'll turn it this way just in case. I don't know which way the orientation of this video is going to be. So, him. And then I had a little theme that I was going to work with with that. Change my mind. Then I had these flowers and this ant and some other stuff that I was working on. I was like, okay, never mind about that. So, let's move that because we're not going to use any of those. Actually, these bits are a little bit big and I was, going to, I was going to try to use them in what I have finally come to decide to do, which is we are going to use this airplane and I'll turn it this way just in case <laughs> I got a couple of trees this cloud is still drying this is a sun and then I have this airplane this one didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it to but I'm going to still use it. Then there's another cloud. So, before we even get to all of that, we got to finish um, the background. So, let's do that. So, I'm going to move this up here and hopefully, uh, like I said, I have no clue how this is turning out. My camera is back that way. <laughs> So, alrighty. So I'm gonna put my paints in this uh, tray here. So I'm gonna use some white. I don't really know why I'm even putting it in this tray, cause let me flip this over to the side. Then I'm going to do. I'm gonna start up at the top, so I might as well. Oh, let me tell you what this is covered with first. I don't know if you can see the texture on here, but I used some uh, baby wipes um, that I used doing my art, just dollar store pack of uh, baby wipes. And I glued them down to a regular cardboard box, corrugated cardboard box. And um, then the in wraps that you use when you wrap your uh, roll your hair up when you get in a perm or 
whatever I use I also use some of those and um, as I said I mixed a little glue and water glued them down let them dry okay so that's that so now let's get to this side and I'm going to use two different kinds of glue so I want the sky part to be a little darker up here so then I'm gonna add a little drop of this And then we'll get to the grass in a minute. So, I pray all of you are well. I'm dipping this sponge into some water just to get it going. Some of you used uh, cut up um, makeup sponges. And I just pat this all together. We are all doing well in my family. Um, just grateful to God for all that He is and all that He's doing. And we'll get that together. Don't we? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that part right now. Just okay. Oops. Okay, now I want to add some more of this blue here. And um the thing though with this is is that I probably won't be able to show you um, well I will be able to show you what it looks like at the end but how it's going to look with the address and everything on it. You won't be able to see that part, obviously, because I can't show you the address. But the other issue is, is that I need some Mod Podge. And I've been looking for Mod Podge. And I thought that with all the Mod Podge I had bought that I still had some. Uh, apparently, I don't. So, there's that. So, I have to, I've been on the hunt for some Mod Podge and all the places that I always buy it at, it's completely out. And I guess with so many people being at home and having children and everything, everybody's doing a lot of crafts. So, there goes the Mod Podge. Okay, so there's our sky. I think I want to add a little bit of more of this little blue right here. Just a little, this light blue. Okay, I don't know what's going on over here on this little side here on my left hand side but we're gonna get it together there okay so there's that now 
let's get to the green. And for the grass, I used uh, palm leaf green and tropical foliage. And then also I use spring, early spring green. Okay, the sky colors were uh, island blue and cool blue and white. Okay, so now let's. I have no idea why this uh, one of these is so liquidy. I think I want to put it on a sponge. Let me wet the sponge just a little bit. Uh, wrong sponge. I want to use the one with the darker green on it. Okay. And let's. I'll figure out how to orientate this video. Uh, well, not the video, but my phone, because I'm still filming on my phone. I don't have a camera. Well, I do have one, but the issue is, is that I threw the charger away by accident, so I got to order a new charger. And it's, it's just too involved right now to even try to use a camera. So I'd rather use this uh, phone. So I got the phone on a tripod. But anyway. Now that's that green. Let's try this one. Now. This sponge. I think I'm gonna stick with this one. And add the yellow. I mean the lighter onto a different color green. It's a little lighter. Whoops. A lot, but we're gonna use it. It will be okay. Just wrap it all around there. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the very lightest. This is the the early spring green. I don't know why I did not open these, take the plastic off of them, but okay. So that can kind of blend with the Stop this cap here. And one thing, even when you're putting down your um, uh, baby wipes, when you're gluing them down, you don't want to make your uh, paper, your cardboard too wet. So I would 
you know, not make things too damp. And I packed the box before I put the paper, uh, before I put the uh, wet wipes, before I glued them on there. Plus the other thing too, the wet wipes, I just pulled out the ones uh, I was going to use and they're, they were semi dry. Just laid them out so they can get a little bit dry before I placed them, glued them down. So I packed it, packed the box, sealed it up. And then I used the um, wet wipes to cover. Now, one thing I will tell you, up at the top, where I know that this is where the recipient will be opening it. And they already have instructions just to take a little knife and cut through here up here at this edge. And that way... They'll know how to open it up without destroying the whole scene. But even if they end up mess, you know, destroying the scene, it's okay. I enjoy doing it and you know it'll be okay. It gets okay. So now let me show you. Now, we're going to lay this out. This is the back side. So this is where this little plane will be here. And once I have everything glued in place, I'm going to go back and take my black Sharpie and outline some things on here. But I'm going to put this plane there so he'll just be flying in like that. I want him coming in like that. And I'm going to put the sun right there. And this tree will be hanging over here so it's like he's just flew past the trees so I think that'll be nice now we need to glue that down I made sure I didn't make it too wet so as the glue is dry this can be dry too because of what I used to glue down, I mean to um, paint with, I am going to use tacky glue to um, put everything down with. Okay. I'm to the <laughs> Okay, so let me paint. This on I hope you guys can see this. I like I said, I have no clue what you guys can see. This is not my usual. I usually know exactly what you guys are looking at when I'm doing this. I'm using this brush uh, to put this on with. I always tell people, if you're using the brush to put your glue down with, use one that you don't care about because glue is hard to get out of a brush. Let's put this tree right here at the very edge. And I want to line this tree. 
tree up with the edge of this. And I'm going to use this. I forgot what this came from a box something that I got and this was at the top part of when I was like oh this makes a perfect burnishing tool to burnish down stuff so let me put a little extra glue under these edges here I also, because I used, okay, on this tree, I painted it with acrylic paint, so it's good, but the plane, oops, and my son that I just blew off the table, uh, I painted with magic marker so I went over it with uh, some uh, hairspray to make sure that it doesn't um, you know, the color doesn't bleed off. Let me pull the plane back up here. And I have to get my sun. So, let me get up and get it. do a better job of uh... alrighty so now I'll put the sun over there and Place him up here. And there he is. All oh, happy and smiling. Okay. So, yeah, I want to put my podge. On the whole thing when I'm done, so that it'll um, look really nice. Now, let's put some glue on the back of this plane. some of y'all probably have already clicked off or about to click off because this might be a little long video but hopefully for those who stay in along you enjoy it sometimes I like long videos because they just get, keep me company not that I'm necessarily watching everything they're doing but they just Keep me company. Okay. 
I don't want him to be flying straight. I want him to be. Looking like he just came from behind that tree, but not like he about to crash either. <laughs> Okay. I uh, kind of think he's situated. This wheel burns. Oops. I got this card as well. So I think I'll use that this time. And you know what? <laughs> I kind of have wanted him to be, but we won't be using that tree now. Okay, so let me close this glue up and try to get this glue off of here. we're going to tighten up some of this painting that we did to make it look a little bit better. Okay, so. I'm going to do a little bit of blue. Let's see here. This. Trying to blend it in just a, a little bit more to that. And then down here at the bottom of this tree, I'm going to add a little bit more green, sort of. Kind of. Pull that tree in just a little bit. Or not. Maybe I don't want to do that. Let me wipe that off of there. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Okay. But I think on the side of this box, see how that looks. I think I want to do something on the side of there. So, well, let's see if I can, very awkward. <laughs> I'll put some of this blue. Okay. Okay. So let that Try. Last try. We can be putting the 
love this side. I don't want to. Okay. So on this side, I am going to have him fly going like up that way. far as I can to the edge I have a tree here I'll put the tree down here so it's like he's going over I want him to look like he's getting ready to go over the top of that tree and then this little cloud here is going to have the address to who it's, it's going to. And then this one will have my address on it. But what I'm going to add is some little, little puffs that sort of look like he's saying the um, address. I gotta put them up like this so that so I'll be able to put them up like that. Okay. Last thing I'm gonna put is this. <laughs> Let's glue the the uh, tree first. this paint palette out the way. Can over it can wrap around 